Hey guys and welcome to Rosa Scale. So in one of my previous videos, I told you how to create one-click AI directories with Genspark. And this was one of my use cases, AI tools for essays directory. As you can see, this directory is alive and well, and it's actually starting to get some traction in the SERPs. But obviously, I need to get the traffic somehow, and one of the best ways would be through organic content marketing, e.g. writing articles. So today, we're going to be exploring a new prompt that I've developed that first looks at the competition, identifies the content gaps, then creates content, and then also suggests a backlinking strategy to outrank that article. So if that's something that you're interested in, give me a like and continue watching. So step one is go to Genspark. We'll be using our super agent. And even though I said there's going to be two steps, one is content gap analysis and the other one is writing the actual article, I actually condensed everything into one handy prompt that's going to be available to my school community. And we're getting so many members excited about Genspark. We even have a dedicated thread called Genspark Awesomeness when people are testing out different approaches and stuff. And before I run this prompt, I want to go on a few specific sections of this prompt. So the keyword in question is the top 10 AI essay writing tools. I am asking the AI to analyze the top three competitors. I want to include the YouTube videos if they are indeed ranking and occupying the first 10 positions. I then want Genspark to identify their content structure, perform a content gap analysis. And then basically the output of this mini stage is going to be a detailed data-driven optimized content outline. Then we're going to the article generation process. I want Genspark to output everything as a single HTML, preferably with interactive elements like screenshots, like HTML, infographic, and YouTube videos. And it's a pretty lengthy prompt that also focuses on the EEAT, but also there are two places where you have to input your information besides the keyword. First is the LSI keywords. Now, I'm not a huge proponent of over SEO optimizing, but I don't think it's going to hurt all that much. So I might as well use it since it's a brand new website and I want good to be 100% certain about the keywords that it should be using. So what I did is copy basic terms and the extended terms. Then I would go to two code list to comma separated, paste this in. And all I have to do is just paste this in, which I did. And this one is important. So I'm actually asking James Park to fetch the screenshots from my competitors. So you know that's uh, a huge tell sign of an AI written content that is just copy pasted, uh, which is basically text without any visuals, without any screenshots, without any anything really. So I want this to appear as polished as possible from the get-go. So I might actually let me go to NeuroWriter, get rid of these keywords see where the competition is and preferably you would want to get the competition that is scored highly on the content score meaning that those are going to be your seo optimized relevant articles so let's just paste them in one by one this one this is content score number 73 so this one should be relevant as well this one and before specifying the number of uh, competitors, it's so always a good idea to cross-check with tools like NeuroWriter. And it just so happens that we have exactly five competitors that are somehow relevant to the keyword. This one and this one as well. So again, I don't want any footers. I want all the page elements, including videos and screenshots, uh, to be visible on a mobile. So let's see what happens. Let me check out some of the top competitors mentioned to the search results to analyze their content structure. And the reason I'm saying check the top five in the beginning of the prompt and then pasting in the exact URLs is that I do want Genspark to do its own research, but I also want to make sure I insert the exact URLs I want the media elements to be taken from. Otherwise, Genspark will just do whatever at random. Based on my research of the top competitors for top 10 AI essay writing tools, I will now create a comprehensive content outline. And these are the results. Content structure analysis. Most competitors use H2 and H3. So they typically start with an introduction. Most include sections on each two with pros and cons. Some include comparison tables. Many include sections on how to choose the right ASA tools. Effective elements, clear headings, visual elements. Most have internal links. Some incorporate YouTube videos, use of bullet points for key features, pros and cons. 
breaks up text with relevant images. Search and time fulfillment providing detailed honest reviews, including price information showing two interface screenshots, constant metrics, word count between 2,000 and 4,000 words, varied use of visuals, interactive features, gap analysis, most focused on general AI writing tools rather than specifically essay writing tools, limited discussion of AI detection, few comparison charts, few real-world examples, limited discussion of ethical considerations, few address academic integrity concerns. Okay, so this is what we are going off of. And now it's basically creating an HTML article for us. Okay, so after a few minutes, this is the article we ended up with. Top 10 AI essay writing tools for 2025, the ultimate guide for students and professionals. A 15-minute read for students and professionals. Introduction, very short one what you will learn, the evolution of AI writing tools, early 2000s, all the way up to 21 to 25, comparing the top 10 AI essay writing tools based on the tool name, best four, starting price, free version, AI detection avoidance, citation support, key features, nice, a very relevant YouTube embed, and then we're going tool by tool, ChatGPT, key features, pricing, pros and cons, the best use case. Number two, Paper Jam. Again, very relevant keyword, Jasper AI, Grammarly Go, Write Sonic, and I notice some problems with the screenshots, but that's okay, we can change that later. Quillbot, Writer, Writeless AI, Hypotenuse. Yeah, and there are some you know, inconsistencies as far as screenshots, but again, that's an easy fix, but the overall formatting, how to choose the right essay, decision framework, ethical considerations, advanced tips, sample advanced prompt template, nice, optimal essay writing workflow, so this is full of value. It even tells you how to write essays. Conclusion and key takeaways. So this is amazing. If we want it, we could just take this whole essay and paste it back into NeuroWriter to see what kind of A score we are talking. And it's 75, so we're already beating our competition. And now the final stage. This is a low, lower competition keyword, but still, obviously we want to have the best chances of outranking. We picked a competitor that is most optimized for this article. Let's just pick this one here. Copy link address. Then we can go to the free backlink checker provided by Ahrefs. Make sure you put the exact URL because we want page specific backlinks, not site wide backlinks. And then, as we can see, this is the only backlink pointing to this essay, and that is not a very powerful backlink at all. So, what we can do, we can say, I want to outrank this guy here, and this is its backlinking, each specific, how many links, what type, and of what DA do I need to outrank my competitor. I'll help you analyze what you need based on the backlink profile you shared. I can see that their domain rating is 33. They have only one backlink to this specific page. That backlink is a do follow link. They have one unique linking website. To outrank this competitor, you need a strategic approach that includes both on page optimization and off page factors like backlinks. Aim for three to five quality backlinks as a starting point. To do follow, contextual, diverse anchor text. Aim for at least one, two links from sites with DA of 40. Given that your competitor backlink profile is relatively modest, this presents an opportunity where even a small but strategic link viewing campaign can help you overtake them. So this basically gives you a guide to how to outrank your competitors. So then you can go to a website like Etsy, and I'm not promoting this website. Then, I would start with link insertions, which is niche edits. And as you can see, there is a tech bullion website with a very high DA, and you can buy this link insert for as little as 50 bucks. So this content alone and a single backlink for 50 bucks should be able to rank you on the first page and potentially outrank your competition. So to recap, first step was to identify content gaps and analyze the top five performing articles. Then we had a very specific criteria to write our content on, including the LSI keywords, the interactive elements. We got that content. So the only problem I have with this content is that I would need to fix a couple of screenshots. That's it. 
again this is an easy fix and then we could purchase a single link or a couple of links to make sure we are ranking on the first page of Google. Hope this was helpful. All the prompts are going to be in my Genspark Academy within my school and I'll see you soon. Cheers.